Oh boy, where do I even start? Ah! Uh. <coughs> hey friends, it's Akidiris. We'll start there. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about a video that I couldn't make and here's why. But first some background, it'll build up, I promise. I have been on YouTube for seven years. And in all of that time, I have been nowhere near as disappointed as I am now that I could not make this video. Not this video, not this video, but this video. Oh no, Aki, but why? Oh, I'm glad you asked. One of the newest types of content that I've just added to the channel is ghost hunting because I really like horror and I really like going to scary places and it took a really long time to find people that were willing to do this with me. We only have had one episode which was released a little over a week ago and that was us going to a cave filled with hundreds of Jizo statues. Jesus what? Nothing, just keep walking. Oh, fuck! Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. <laughs> oh! What happened? And the legend of that place was that if you saw three headless statues, that apparently meant you were going to die. So of course I was like, we have to go. And if you watch that video, you'll kind of understand the flow of how I want each of the episodes to be. This is the first time in seven years where I was legitimately excited to go to our next location and we went there and I was super stoked to film it. We filmed it just a little bit there, but we turned back. We couldn't do it. And I'm gonna tell you why. The short of it is that a lot of stuff happened and we got too scared and it was unsafe and we literally just could not do it because a lot of shady things had happened up there. I don't know if it was our paranoia getting the best of us. I don't know if we actually stumbled across something while we were filming. So, okay, so from this point onwards, Everything I'm going to tell you is the God's honest truth and I know that there's no way I can get you to believe me Especially when it comes to story time and ghost hunting videos If there's any kind of content on YouTube that is so quick to get dismissed as being fake or staged It's apology videos, it's prank videos, and it's ghost hunting videos I am a consumer myself and there is a very little, very little ghost hunting content that I can consume on YouTube. This location that we went to is almost three hours away from where we all live. This location is called Arai's house. And the rumor surrounding this house was that a man killed his family and then himself with an axe. And their gravestone is apparently behind this house. And I went on YouTube and I saw a couple of Japanese YouTubers that actually did go to this location. So I thought, okay, this is accessible. It's It seems safe enough. I mean, is it scary? Sure, but that's kind of what the whole point is. So we began the project to plan to go out there, even though it was three hours away. And all I can say is that if you're not gonna believe me, why would I travel three hours away to go to a location to only take a few photos, to take a few videos to come back with for only a story when I've already made a full on video of me walking through a forest. Okay, so we went out there. We were in the car. We got there at around 2 a.m. And we were going through some of the oldest and shadiest neighborhoods and there were no lights. The only light source that we had was the front of our car and our bright futures ahead of us. Then we have to spiral up a mountain. We're driving along the cliff. It was really scary. There wasn't a single car that was going up here. Not surprised because there is absolutely no reason to go to this location. Oh, there are they put massive nets up there. Yeah, I guess they they already were trying to fix the problem by putting these nets well, up. Well, they actually have like a phone number there for the suicide line. This house is pretty much the only house left standing in this location. And then as we're only about one kilometer away from it, we get stopped. We stop at a sign and it's warning for rocks falling. So we go through and I immediately start hyperventilating. I'm like, I have a bad feeling about this. The road is so narrow and close to the mountain. And to be honest, none of us are professionals in driving in this kind of condition. This is such a risky road for us to be driving on, but we keep going and then we stop because I see this shadow in front of us, this huge shadow 
that looked like a bear and we all saw it and it was it was an animal this animal i thought it was a bear i was convinced it was a bear um and it just kind of stared at us the whole time and it wasn't a deer we found out later that it was a kamoshika Oh my god, Aki, so dramatic. You built all of that up for a little kamoshika? I know, I know, I know. By the way, kamoshikas are pretty chill. At night, it looked a lot more terrifying, but they're actually pretty chill. They're pretty much goats, and the body definitely looked like a bear or a wolf when I saw it. Keep in mind that this is like two in the morning. I'm going to a haunted place. We are driving on like the most narrowest road in the mountains to God knows where we are in Japan. So if we die, that's it. So you can imagine that my brain is very good at convincing me that things are a lot worse than they actually are. My brain is very good at telling me that everything around me is going to kill me. So when I see an animal that I've never seen or heard of before in my life, and it's right in front of our car just staring at us, yeah, you can bet that the first thing I'm thinking of is, ah! It's very important that I had to share this in the story because now you know where my mentality is right now. One. Um, no, how, keep it how on. much time is good? This is it. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Mm. Yeah, look at how the big bands in the uh, outside. But at the same time, it's kind of cool. It's like. Close. And there honestly might have been some people or a person that was going around there because there was a pot that was sitting there that looked honestly pretty new. There was a children's book that looked like it wasn't too old it just looked like it's been damaged by the weather and there was just some signs that there had been people that were there oh look to that wait what is this actually looks like a children book I'm more paranoid of other animals that were residing in there. So a few of us decided to go check around the area. We had bear spray, we had a knife, and that was pretty much all we had. I'm not really suited for wildlife survival. I don't think the others were either. I guess you could say we were a little bit unprepared for what we encountered. Call it paranoia or whatever, but there was this rustling, this really loud rustling that was coming closer and closer and closer to the group. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Safe. Safe. Uh -oh. oh, I heard that. Over there. Yeah. On that side. Shine over there. Should we back up? No, we're still good. And we couldn't see anything. I was so scared that I actually had to go pee. I went to one of the trees and was like, guys, just stay here. Don't look. I have to go pee. Uh oh, oh. Run. What? She's peeing. And as I'm peeing, I can hear the rustling getting closer and closer. And I am peeing as fast as I can! I don't know if any of you know the, the horrifying feeling of pissing while being scared and hearing something coming towards you in the middle of the night near a house that is said to be haunted. There was just so much stuff going through my head. We heard this really loud whistling. Was it you walk? Oh, I heard that. We don't know if somebody is actually maintaining the area or if someone saw us. If it was a bird, then goddamn, that bird must have had a megaphone or something. But that also kept coming closer and closer. And with the rustling coming closer and closer. There was one thing we knew, and that was if there's no ghosts around here, there's some shit around this area that we don't know is here. One thing we knew is that this place was too dangerous and this video couldn't be filmed. And by this point, when we made that decision, it was already like four or five in the morning. I couldn't even express how like upset I was that we went through all of that. And by the time that any of us got back home, the whole trip itself took 12 hours. That was way longer than we wanted. It's cause we were in an area that we had no idea where we were going. We were running out of gas. We were so unprepared for this video and it actually bummed me out. Um, but if there's anything about the series that I know, 
is that I should come more prepared next time. Uh, we should get probably a local to go with this. I should get somebody that knows what they're doing in the wild. I know at the end I still want to do this series. We're already working on another one, but I think I need to work my way up or something because where we went to, that was, that was really dangerous. Uh, I was really paranoid. I know some of you commenting think it's so easy or whatever, but look, I am coming from like fresh experience with this stuff. So I think I really like dove into the deep end when I did this. If you guys have any thoughts or recommendations for haunted places for me to go to, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. But I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!